Good evening. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night, 9.43 p.m. That's California time here, March 31st, 2025. April 1st, tomorrow. Watch out. A lot of, a lot of pranksters out there on April Fool's Day. 3.9 earthquake, the latest in a, a little cluster of earthquakes there across the Alaska area, including a 5.1 earthquake striking a fairly shallow, about seven miles deep here. Look at this cluster of activity. Uh, we got to watch this here because we could be looking at maybe some foreshock activity. Uh, this is fairly, uh, fairly decent amount of earthquake activity here. Uh, it's possible these could just be aftershocks following the 5.1, but there's always, you know, a little bit of concern here. These could be some after or uh, some foreshocks to something much bigger in the area. We'll keep an eye on that region. Uh, either way, it's uh, let's see where that's located. Some type of uh, lake down here. Continue to watch that. Quite elevated, actually. It looks like across the Alaska area recently. Even here across the Aleutian Trench with a bunch of earthquake activity here. Uh, for the uh, Pacific Northwest, a handful of earthquakes. Really nothing big. 1.8 up here for a little small microquake from today. A couple other smaller quakes there around the uh, Cascade Volcanoes. Northern California, one earthquake coming in here in the last hour couple earthquakes up here at the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, on that note, let's check the trimmer map here this evening. I believe that's today's trimmer, which shows here 44 epicenters of trimmer, mainly down here across the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. And nothing big going on, but a uh, handful of trimmer resulting in a handful of earthquakes there. Eventually, that's going to uh, trigger a big one. For the uh, Nevada area, still seeing some movement out there this morning and afternoon. Uh, nothing major going on, just a couple smaller quakes. That, well, can't really say smaller quakes because a uh, four-pointer and uh, some twos and threes out there as well out in the region of Nevada that really haven't had a lot of earthquake activity happening in. Bay Area of Northern California, San Francisco, pretty quiet. Southern California down here got, uh, well, just typical movement. I've really not seen anything... Uh, of unusual activity for now up at uh, Yellowstone National Park super volcano nothing showing up there on the map I do want to double check that make sure we got the most recent data and uh, some wind events earlier this is uh, I believe some type of outside interference locally there to that seismograph station but really not seeing any earthquake activity right now showing up there across that uh, super volcano Texas oil fields, and, uh, well, that's about it. Oil fields getting hit out there. So far as, uh, let's see what we got for the latest, largest magnitude out here in the last 24 hours. That's going to go to the 5.6 there in the Indonesia Islands area. Alaska's up there, though. Fairly recent. The most recent five-pointer. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. I know they can get some big earthquakes up here. That's for sure. Uh, let's take a look here. I'm kind of curious to see when the last big one was specifically up there around that area. I'm going to go 6.0 and above. And we're just going to go back here to the year 1000. That's, I just put that in there just to make sure I'm getting you know, all the data that's, that they have available here. Um, oh, I did not mean to do the entire world. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm surprised my computer didn't crash on that one. 14,000 earthquakes. Yeah, including, you know, the biggest earthquake of recorded human history. I need to redefine that. Did not mean to do that. Modify search. I need to draw a little area, a little rectangle here on the map where we're seeing the earthquake activity right now. It's uh, kind of around this lake area. If I remember right, let's see, let's double check that and make sure. Yeah, just north of there, or to the northeast, it looks like. I wish they would get this uh, fixed. Still a little uh, glitchy on their maps. I believe that's the right area. All right, let's see what we got. Wow. <laughs> Okay, just one earthquake here back in 1990. Pretty deep one, though. That's associated with the subduction zone, the Aleutian Trench down here. So uh, not a whole lot of historical data as far as uh, 
surface rupture up here. But uh, I'll keep an eye on it because we've got a little swarming going on there. Uh, across the rest of the planet here, uh, movement way up north, literally on top of the globe here. Some four stirring up. Mediterranean area, some twos and threes. And a couple aftershocks across various areas where we've had that. I have seen a series of seven pointers here recently. Myanmar area, um, Indonesia Islands region. Tonga, really not seeing a whole lot of aftershock activity. Some deeper movement, though, following that uh, that big quake that struck down here just, uh, when was that? Yesterday, I believe it was? I don't know. It seems that they seem to be all running together right now. A seven-pointer there yesterday. Some aftershock activity, including a six-pointer or two, but uh, that uh, is very typical. Nothing major going on there across the New Zealand area. Just a 3.5 in the region that had a 6.7 here a number of days back. It's a little bit of aftershock activity. Pretty good cluster going on here across the, um, oh, the Maluka Sea area, it looks like. It's going to be this region right here, just outside there. Uh, Flora Sea, it looks like, around the Java Trench, eastern edge of the Java Trench. There, seeing some uh, elevated activity. Japan, pretty quiet up there for now. Not a whole lot going on there through the uh, that subduction zone region. So we'll just kind of see what happens here. Uh, Chile area still quite active. All right, quick space weather activity events. Uh, looking at a little blackout going on right now. Get that every 24 hours with the uh, spacecraft losing data during the eclipse. That happens every day. Uh, still watching. Well, here's a newer sunspot. It's kind of popped up out of the blue, this region right here. But there's a bigger area back over here that's been sizzling with M flares. That's 4048. Let's check out the latest magnetogram image here of that uh, area. There it is. Quite a dynamic sunspot region, holding steady. Uh, I don't see any signs of any weakening, so therefore the th the uh, threat uh, possibility will remain high. x flare potential up there around 25% or so. Also got a newer sunspot down here, starting to form some magnetic structure. We'll keep an eye on these two as they are likely uh, candidates there for seeing some x flare activity here in the near future. We're getting bombarded with protons here, and I'm not exactly for sure uh, if this is a result of that large X flare a number of days back. I think it was back on Friday, right? So it's been it's been more than a couple days. Uh, most of, and that that flare that shot off was over here on the northeastern quadrant of the sun, shot off away from us. So the protons, eh, interesting there that they would take that long, unless this is from something else. I don't know. Let me see here. Um, this is likely the result of particles finally finding their way past our planet following the large CME observed off the, off the east limb on Friday. Eh, uh, I don't know. That's a, just a little weird. Either way, we, we are getting hammered with uh, protons right now and they're showing uh, quite nicely there across the polar regions no major roars in the forecast for now and of course the flare threat remains elevated at a uh, decent chance there for some x flare activity 25 percent chance storm prediction center not a whole lot going on tonight it looks like some thunderstorm activity out here across my neck of the woods and the rest of the uh well, Intermountain West regions. Also a slight chance for some severe weather across the extreme east with some tornado wind. And that's about it. Some tornado and wind threats out there. Now the day tomorrow, yeah, a little bit more uh, activity stirring up here across Kansas. Beautiful state of Kansas. I was out there in a beautiful town called Augusta, Kansas. Uh, at, I got to send out a shout out to the Walmart out there uh, because of... Uh, I'm not going to lie. Of all the Walmarts I've been to, this is by far the most professional looking one, the most courteous. And it's not an advertisement. It's just a shout out to uh, uh, a decent uh, community out there. I like that area, Augusta, Kansas. Uh, the whole town seemed clean and just uh, inviting. So uh, that may be in the future here for uh, us. We'll see. But a uh, beautiful area out there around Augusta, Kansas. Sits outside of Wichita.
They are in the enhanced zone tomorrow. Uh, 10% hatched area of large damaging tornadoes. So just a heads up if you're out there around Wichita, Augusta, Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, that's in the 10% zone, surrounded by 5 and a 2%. So be on guard. Wind, and of course, these areas know how to get the big hail done as well. Look at that major hail. Potentially forecast, it is forecasted there tomorrow. So just keep your eye on the sky and uh, stay weather aware tomorrow. Springtime patterns kicking up. Um, let's see here. There's that severe weather likely tomorrow out there across the uh, Kansas area, Oklahoma, Texas as well. Uh, California, the West Coast. I'm trying to think when our next storm system looks like it's kind of backed off there on the precipitation out there across California recently, but uh, kind of see what happens. It's all subject to change, but I do know in the near term for tomorrow, got to stay weather aware out there around the uh, region. Pretty quiet. Across the seismograph stations there. Absolutely quiet. Not a whole lot going on for now. We'll keep an eye there on Alaska. And um, eh, just a lot of movement up here across the northern area of the uh, Earth today. More recent. All right. I'm out of here, folks. Kind of tired. Going to be a little chilly tonight here. Um not too bad, I guess. A little bit more rain expected overnight, and then that's about it, clearing. So, have a good one. We'll see you guys back out here in the morning for the Tuesday morning update. Take care, folks.